I'm making my s'mores brownies, which are rich and fudgy and covered in charred marshmallows. To get started on the crust, I have two packages of graham crackers. I'll spice things up with some ground cinnamon, a little bit of chili powder for a tiny kick of heat. I'll bring out all the flavors with a pinch of kosher salt, and then I'll blend this until it's really finely ground. All right, I'm gonna drizzle in 10 tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, and this will bring the crust together. This looks great and it smells even better. I'm gonna get this into my pan now. I've got an eight inch square pan that I've greased and lined with parchment paper, and I'll pack it down firmly and evenly. My crust is packed. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge to chill while I make my brownie layer. These brownies are so moist and fudgy. I'll start with two large eggs. I'll grab some sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar. I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'll pour in the melted butter that's left over from the graham cracker crust. And by this time, it's cooled slightly, which is good because I don't want it to cook the eggs. And this is three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. I'll whisk this to combine. And I want to whisk it pretty vigorously so that the butter and the sugar really emulsify. Time to add some dry ingredients. I'll get a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Cinnamon and chocolate together are so good. And then a little bit of chili powder because these s'mores brownies are inspired by Mexican chocolate, which has that great heat. And a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'll mix to combine. And for the final touch, some chocolate chips. I love it when brownies have surprises of extra chocolate sprinkled in twice the chocolate. Yay! My crust is firmed up. I'm gonna pour the brownie batter all over it. I'll spread this out evenly. Now this is ready for the oven. I'll stick it in at 350 degrees until they're set on top. My brownies are done baking. They're looking great. And now for the top layer, I'm making my gooey marshmallow frosting. I've got one stick of butter, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, and a pinch of salt that I'm blending up until it's fluffy. And now to make it marshmallowy, I'm gonna add two cups of marshmallow cream. I love this stuff. It's so smooth and gooey. I'm just eyeballing this in. I'll add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix until it's smooth. I'll spread this right on, and I'll spread this all over. Oh, for sweet. I'll stick this in the fridge to firm up, and then I'm gonna go find Nick because I need some help charring up my marshmallows. I found my torch man. Uh, if you don't have a torch person, you can toast your marshmallows in a broiler. Go look perfect. It smells like a campfire in here. Now you can just put some of those on top of the brownies. Will do. Perfect. Okay, you did a great job. I think you earned a taste. Let's do it. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. A little flares. Oh yeah. I could eat these all day. <laughs> <laughs>